What's up, a Cinema Show Gun here, and am I the only one here that kind of has like a weird phobia of parking garages? Like, don't get me wrong, I don't have this crippling fear of parking garages that stops me from actually parking in parking garages. In fact, I think I park in parking garages way more than I would like. But I've always found something kind of creepy and weird about them. You know, like, because parking garages are really shady. Every time I park my car in a parking garage and I'm getting out of my car, I'm always on standby, full alert mode, ready to put a hot one in somebody if they try something stupid while I'm just trying to park my car and get to my destination. But that's not the only reason I have an issue with parking garages. Often they look kind of beat up and run down. And I always feel like, what if this collapses? Like, I don't know. I just always have these weird feelings. And, you know, in movies throughout history, we've always watched weird things happen in parking garages. You know, like when certain bad characters want to meet up with another certain character for a drop off. It's always in parking garages. The mob is always in the parking garage. We got people getting mugged in parking garages. Horror movies always got the parking garage scene that's full of like tension. You know what I mean? So it's kind of been ingrained in me since birth. Well, I always felt like maybe I'm kind of irrational, you know, when it comes to this because nothing bad has ever happened to me in parking garages. In fact, I've had quite a share of fun in parking garages if I go back and look through my memories. But yesterday, something weird happened in New York City. A parking garage collapsed. My worst fear came to light. And it made me feel like, you know what? See, I had a reason. I had a reason to discriminate against parking garages for all of these years. Like, this is why I prefer parking on the street or anywhere else. <laughs> But this, this parking garage collapse was really scary. I'm sure some of you all have seen photos and videos from the situation. And also, there was another weird situation today with, like, in Seattle with some explosions, if you will. Um, I don't know what the heck is going on there. We're getting a lot of weird stories. But anyway, let me not go off the rails here. There was a parking um, garage collapse in New York City, and it came right after, a few days after, New York City started rolling out these new robot dogs and robot police officers, if you will. And yesterday, we got to see one of these robot dogs in action. That is right. One of these robot dogs, um, it's actually, it actually belongs to the FDNY, not the police department. It showed up at the scene of this parking garage collapse. And here is what happened next, ladies and gentlemen. That didn't work out for the dog so well. Millions upon millions upon millions of dollars were spent on these little robots. And all the robot managed to do was take a couple of steps before falling over. And real people had to come in there and rescue the robot. Now, would it a real dog be more effective than what we just witnessed? Like if you wanted to find people and sniff people out in the rubble, surely you would use real dogs. Real dogs have been helping in situations like this for years. 
Real dogs saved a lot of lives on 9-11 and they found a lot of people who had lost their lives, unfortunately. So real dogs are often used in these situations. Yesterday, they instead used a robot dog that obviously did not get the job done. Now, I don't know about you all, but I am freaked out by these robots. I don't think anything good is going to come from this. I think people's jobs are going to be replaced by robotics and robots and AI. I also think these things will one day become unhinged and uncontrollable. Now, what we just witnessed was not so scary, right? It shows you kind of how incompetent maybe these machines still are. Maybe they aren't advanced to the point that we have to worry about them taking over the world. <laughs> but I think this is also a cause for concern. Because while some people will look at this and be like, ha, 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 see, there's nothing to worry about here. I look at this like, oh, okay. So in reality, these robots are not effective at doing the jobs y'all promised they're going to do. What are they really effective at? They're not effective at saving people in the rubble. They're effective at monitoring and spying on people with their camera systems. That's what they are effective at doing. So while some people look at this and, and, and it makes them more at ease, you know, because you see this, and you're like, <laughs> this thing can't pose a threat to man. It can't even walk straight. It can't even walk up a rock without falling over and needing help. And I understand that reaction. But then you got to really think about it. We're being fed these excuses that, oh, we got these robot dogs. They're going to help us so much. They don't do really anything other than walk around and listen and watch people with their cameras. Now, the usual reply is, well, we got camera phones and we got phones that track us. Yes, but how can you all be comfortable with this overreach of, of, of just watching people 24-7? It's like we're living in a surveillance state. We are becoming something like China where you are going to be watched 24 7 there's going to be a camera everywhere you're going to have checkpoints you're going to have this you're going to have that and i feel like this is what these robots are being used for i feel like they're used to desensitize us to the next wave of robots and they have all of these excuses about oh they could be used for this and used for that when in reality i don't see them being used for those functions at least not effectively. The only thing effectively that I see them doing is monitoring and basically spying on people and watching you as you go about your daily life. Now, like I said, people will bring up the fact that you're tracked and watched by your cell phone. Yeah, I understand that, but some of this is about intimidation. It's going to be very intimidating for people when you're walking down the street and robot dogs are watching you. And police robots are all rolling around with 50 cameras attached, watching you. You know, as a regular law-abiding citizen, I don't want that in my life. I understand that they are beating people up in big cities to the point that you're going to beg for this. They're going to make sure that crime gets so bad in your big cities that you're going to beg for answers. You will get on your hands and knees and beg for the robot overlords to protect you. But naturally, things shouldn't be this way. And naturally, your cities would be safer if people started voting in smarter people, if people woke up to the agendas that are at play. But people aren't going to do that. So things are going to get worse and as things get worse, the government is going to impose more control over these populations of people. And in order to do so, they're going to have to use robots. Because I think we're going to get to a point where most human beings aren't going to feel comfortable with some of the orders and stuff that they are given. Okay? Humans can be corrupted in good ways and in bad ways, depending on how you view it. The powers that be know that. I think the powers that be realize that there's a lot of pushback from freedom-loving 
human beings. So in order to impose some of these new ways of life, they're going to need something besides freedom-loving human beings to do so. But all in all, I think it's fun seeing them test out this little robot. This is just a, the beginning. This is just the trial and error phase. But we are definitely moving into a new world. A new world that they're trying to shape for us. But I believe we can still have some say-so in shaping this world if people start speaking up. Let me know your thoughts, though, down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.